Welcome to the Hayes family. The Hayes manual butt fusion machine is used for welding thermoplastic pipes and fittings, by heat fusion and manually controlled force. One of the most common thermoplastic pipes in the industry are made of high-density polyethylene known as HDPE. This is a versatile and durable choice for a wide range of applications. Today in this video we want to demonstrate how to fuse polyethylene pipes using the Hayes Combat 8 inches butt fusion machine. We will be fusing according to the American National Standard ASTM F2620. This is the commonly accepted standard for fusing polyethylene pipe in the US. Machine operation. Connect the trimmer and the heater to the electric unit support, with the special connectors. Now connect the electric unit support, to the right power source and turn both switches on. The green light is the desired temperature and the red light is the reached temperature. Ensure you select the proper temperature according to the pipe manufacturer's recommendation. This pipe alignment carriage has a stationary and a movable clamping fixture. Not only for aligning and holding the two parts to be fused but to assist with pipe welding process. It also includes all the appropriate inserts for clamping different pipe sizes or fitting shapes. Place the appropriate inserts for the pipe OD or the fitting being fused. Ensure the inside and outside of both ends of the pipes are clean to avoid any contamination. We recommend to use a clean lint-free dry cloth. Try to align the pipe as level as possible, and hold them in place with the jaws, with about a finger's width to allow enough material to trim off and fuse. Use the clamps knobs to tighten the jaw around the pipe to keep them in position. There is no need to use a wrench just use your hands. Place the trimmer into the machine over the rod brackets. Ensure the trimmer is locked into place. Turn the trimmer on and bring the pipe ends against the trimmer with minimal force. Apply only enough force to allow the blade to shave the necessary material and to guarantee parallel mating surfaces. Turn the trimmer off. Open the clamps and only remove it when the blades have stopped spinning. Clean the inside and outside of both ends of the pipes with a clean lint-free dry cloth. Bring the ends pipe together to ensure we have a good uniform face-off and check that we have a proper alignment. The alignment shouldn't be off more than 10% of the wall thickness. With the heater at the proper temperature, 400 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, place it in the machine over the rod brackets. Bring the pipe ends into full contact with the heating tool at fusion force. Hold fusion force until a slight melt is observed around the circumference of the pipe before reducing force. At this point, Engage the locking clamps to assist you with the heat soak, by keeping the pipe in contact with the heater, without force. Heat soak will be complete, when the melt has reached the minimum bead size for the pipe being fused. Please refer to the ASTM F2620 to know the approximate melt bead size needed. Once the minimum bead size has been observed, quickly unlock and open the clamps, remove the heating iron away from the pipe ends, without touching the molten material. Bring the pipe ends together at fusion force in accordance with the pipe manufacturer's recommended fusion procedure. The time we have to remove the heater and bring the pipes together to fuse is within 8 seconds. Hold the molten joint immobile under fusion force until sufficiently cooled. Use the locking clamps to assist you with the cooling time. We must wait the indicated amount of cooling time under force, before removing the pipe. ASTM specified a cool time of 11 minutes per inch of pipe wall. For more information about fusion terms and formulas such as fusion force, wall thickness, drag pressure, bead size, OD and SDR please visit our website www.hayesfusion.com university.